Okay, so I think we're rolling here. Today I'm going to review uh, two, um, my pretty much my favorite rums at the moment. They're both uh, Venezuelan rums. And uh, this one here is the Pompero Anniversario. And it comes in this really cool little satchel. It's like a leather pouch. You know, and it's a really nice feel to it. It's real nice soft leather. I mean, you know, Venezuelan leather. You know, just really, really nice. Excellent presentation. And uh, you know, you can, you can use, you can reuse this for something else. So it's pretty good. You know, and then you got this awesome little stubby bottle. And this thing here, you know, it's I'm running low, but I do have another bottle that I haven't opened yet of this stuff because. This is one, I mean, this stuff I'm drinking quite frequently, basically. You can see that, really, really low. And now here is this other Venezuelan rum. It's a Santa Teresa, 1796. It's a Ron Antigua de Solera. And it comes in this tin. As you can see, I've also I've been drinking this stuff down too, you know. So I mean, it's a really good stuff. Comes with this beautiful wine bottle. It's all waxy and stuff. And it's got the, you know, just real beautiful, beautifully presented rums here from Venezuela, and just you know, very nice. So we'll start off with this uh, Santa Teresa. Now this. Uh, this rum here is, it's a little bit, about 45, 50 bucks, you know, so not, not too expensive, there's a lot of more expensive rums, and uh, the, um, it's a blend of rums that are about, you know, between 10 and 20 years old, so some really nice age, really nice smoothness in there and uh and cigar went out devil's torch um yeah and so this stuff was blended by the uh solera method Okay, so Solera method is they got a bunch of different aging rums, you know, and they're all in these casks stacked on each other. So you got one cask that's up here, it's five-year-old cask of rum, and below that you have a seven-year-old cask, and then you got a ten-year-old cask. And so in the bottom, you know, you're gonna they're gonna take some of the ten-year-old uh, rum out of there. And then when they do that, they're going to refill it with the cask, the seven-year-old cask above. And then they're going to refill that. So it's going to kind of trickle down. So you're going to end up getting these, like, blended, you know, combo of rums that are at various ages. And, you know, most rum is like that. And it, and it really makes it awesome. I mean, that's a rare way to make a, a, a liquor. A, a distillate so whiskey doesn't do that kind of a thing that's something that's it's called solera it's something that you know when when vinegar makers do they do the same thing but uh very very nice here so this is, this is a little bit more aged than this pompero a blend of you know about 15 years smell is just really um Molasses, caramel, very sweet, very beautiful color. I mean, just real coppery, little gold. You know, it's got some some nice legs and some vanilla, banana. I mean, let's go ahead and. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow, that's so good. And that's what I love about these Venezuelan rums. 
is they're just really thick and molassesy. You know, that real syrupy, sweet taste. It's very smooth. Not a lot of astringency in these Venezuelan rums, and that's what I'm liking about them. They're just sweet. Very, very sweet. So, uh, this Pompero here is a real good deal. Now, this stuff is... I'm going to finish it off there. This is not aged as long. And, um... It's a blend of, uh... Four to eight year old rums. Okay, so it is cheaper, actually, than this, uh, Santa Teresa here. About $45, and then this one's about $25. So very reasonably uh, priced stuff here. And for the price, I'm going to tell you, the stuff is great. Very sweet, very floral, a little fruity, you know. I'm like getting some smells of pears. Color is even a little darker. It's very beautiful, dark mahogany color here. Excellent rum, a little bit more uh, droopy legs. And just so smooth. I mean, it just goes right down the hatch. Nothing, you know, no burn at all. Like you're drinking juice, you know, it's awesome. Taste is very uh, syrupy. Molasses sweet a little fruity just really awesome no bitterness at all you know when you age rums for a very long time sometimes they can pick up that bitterness you know they get that bitterness in there so um this is a short aged rum, but it, it really is smooth for such, for being aged. Such a short, you know. Mm. Good. Now, you know, you can drink them neat like what I'm doing right now, but I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't recommend it because if you do what I'm doing right now, you're gonna get drunk as shit. So after this review, I'm going to um, mix these two. I'm going to put this one in this one. And I'm going to dump a bunch of ice in there. And that is one sweet ass drink. Very good. But when you put the ice in there, it kills the aroma. That's the only downside. Right now, I'm smoking on this uh, La Gloria Cubana. Medalla de Oro number three. And uh, I did a review on, on this cigar before. It's one of my favorites. I got a couple boxes of these, actually. Um, Slim Panatella is just... Very nice smokes. Real, real nice. The flavors are awesomely sweet on these two. <sighs> Smoking a cigar and drinking rum on the rocks is really, really excellent. I mean, that, that is a very excellent delicious tasting combo that I would recommend you know sipping rum in the 25 to 100 dollar range just really good rum and it's a good cigar Cuban it's a really good time it's a really good combo So anyways, that's the review, two of my main staple Venezuelan rums. Um, you got this uh, 
This uh, Santa Teresa's beautiful Solera aged rum for a very reasonable price. Beautiful presentation here. And then you got this um, Pompero Anniversario short term aged, blended. Both of them are from molasses. Awesome, awesome stuff. Very, very smooth. I would totally recommend Bye Bye. I mean, for the, for the price, excellent rum. You know, for me, anyways. Anyways, thanks for watching.